Hello, I am Vanessa Pirelli. Today we will be exploring some uses of Google Jamboards in an elementary school setting. Google Jamboards is a digital tool that can be used to provide academic interaction with students and teachers, create collaborative settings amongst peers, a student's personal guide to their learning day, and real-time exit slips and responses from students. Here, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to get started with Jamboard. First, you will need to locate Jamboard on your iPad. Click the Jamboard app that has an orange and yellow music note. Once you click on the app, you're going to click the plus button. Ta-da! You've created your first Jamboard. Now, to edit the name of your Jamboard, you click the three dots at the top, click on Rename. You can also draw with Jamboards, erase with Jamboards, move things around, use a disappearing laser tool. The plus button allows you to add sticky notes, images, drive content, camera, image library, and stickers. To make the students use the Jamboard, you click on the three dots, click on share, and you can make this whoever you want it to go to. If you do not want them to edit this Jamboard, simply keep them a viewer, not an editor. Now we're going to explore some ways Jamboard can be implemented in an elementary school classroom. One way that you can use Jamboards in your classroom is creating a class whiteboard on Jamboard. This way students can be using the Jamboard and you can be showing the content that you're showing on your whiteboard. This can provide the class schedule and an outline of the learning content and standards for each day. You can provide anchor charts, references, posters, standards, reading and response charts, and other visuals for students to use as references. I use this in my classroom so students that have a hard time seeing on the board or what I'm representing in the front of the room, they can see and they can access the contents and reference to what I'm teaching. Here's an example of my class whiteboard. You can do things like greetings, writing prompts, standards, anchor charts, response sheets, charts, spelling words, math content. Another example is a student digital choice board. During literacy or math workstations, you can use Jamboards as a choice board as well as a reference to where they will go during their time in workstations. I use Jamboards for literacy workstations. This Jamboard is a choice board that students are in charge of their weekly reading workstation completion charts. They can see where they go for pullouts and they can see where they're going during each station. They also have access to what the activities are for the week. If they finish an activity of their choice, they add their name with a sticky note. They have an option to do something different every day and they have choices on what they do. As long as they complete the tasks for each week, they add their name, their choices are done. They also are assigned certain pages for their reading groups for differentiation purposes. Another example is small group and whole group exit slips. Jamboard can be used as a collaborative tool that can provide you as a teacher feedback and knowledge checks on the content being taught. In small groups, I make a Jamboard for each reading group and each student has a page of content activity that is learned to complete or an exit slip for the lesson. For whole group, the students can also respond to a question of the day or use Jamboards to respond to a reading or math standards taught that day. I usually have whole group exit slips on the class whiteboard. Here are some examples of small group and whole group. Here is a copy of a rhyming exit slip that I use in small group instruction. Each student has their own page. I tell them what page they're working on and they complete the activity. When they're done, I make them a viewer and I check their work. Here's another example of a math lesson that could be an exit slip. I give each student a page and I have them complete whether the problems are true or false. This is a good fact fluency check. 
For a whole group exit slip, I use a question of the day Jamboard. The students know the question of the day and will answer it depending on what I would like them to answer. It could be what the lesson was about or it could be what they learned that day. They respond with a sticky note. This is my whole group exit plans. You can also use these for standards based and lesson ending exit slips. I also use my whiteboard option, my class whiteboard option when we're doing reading response exit slips. I have the student go to the page and I give them access to the Jamboard and they can add their response to what we're teaching. This is an example of a character and setting. They create a sticky note and they write who the characters are and the setting. I give them a time limit and the students add their responses. These are just a few tips and tricks on how to use Jamboards in your classroom to help with resources for content, collaboration, and instruction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other resources and follow our Dear Dish channel. Jam on!